Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I really want to do a, like, palette roulette, but with all of the colorful nine pan palettes I have from ColourPop. So I'm going to pick four shades, and I really wanted to randomize it and pick, hopefully, like, some really random colors because I have the Uh-huh Honey, so I got the yellow, the main squeeze, the red, orangey glad, of course the orange, the just my luck, the green, and then blue moon. So I've been playing a lot with the Uh Huh Honey and the Orangey Glad, but to be honest, I actually haven't used the Blue Moon palette yet or the Main Squeeze. And this one, I actually, like, I don't know if the shades are right anymore because in <laughs> the last video that I posted or a video last week, uh, we uh, dropped this. My boyfriend dropped it when he was picking a palette for me to use and uh, things kind of got a bit messy. So I have two different random.org number generators here. The first, I'm going to pick basically two random random numbers. The first number will decide which palette and then I will randomly draw another number to pick a shade. I want to pick four shades, I'll swatch them all, and then I'm gonna make an eye look with those. So we'll, let, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna number the palettes one through five. So let's see, the honey will be one, orange will be two, the main squeeze will be three, blue moon will be four, and just my luck will be five. So I got them all lined up all nicely and let's start picking our first number. Randomly generate number five. <laughs> so we start with the Just My Luck palette. So out of these nine shades, let's pick one. Let's see, what am I going to get? I got shade four. Okay. So if we start from the top, one, two, three, four. So this is the shade Big Banks. I'm going to swatch it just here in the back of my hand. Awesome. Our first shade to work with. So this is a shimmer. And is a deep green. Okay, putting the palette back, let's pick our next shade. Palette number four, Blue Moon. All right, so within the Blue Moon palette, what are we gonna use? Shade number five. Ooh, okay, so shade number five is one, two, three, four, five, right here in the middle, Billy Jean. So it's like a lilac y kind of blue shimmer shade. So We've got two shimmers so far. The next palette is palette number three, Main Squeeze. I feel like we're just going back. I randomly had it set between one and five. <laughs> so from the Main Squeeze palette, whew, I wonder what we're gonna get. I'm kind of really, okay, well, I'm not gonna say what I'm hoping for. Let's actually see what we get. And randomly generate. Shade number three. Oh my God, it's another shimmer. <laughs> I'm gonna do a look with basically all shimmers. So this is one, two, three, the shade Home Slice. Oh my god, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? All right, putting the palette back, let's pick our final shade. We're going back to Blue Moon. It randomly picked palette number four again. Oh, okay, let's see what it be. I'm kind of hoping we get at least one matte shade. What shade number? Shade number two. What is shade number two? <gasps> we got one matte, but it's like a purpley blue. It's this one right here, Daba D. Because <laughs> of course it is. Oh, what the hell am I going to do with this? Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, so we're using the three palettes today, which are Blue Moon, Main Squeeze, and Just My Luck. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two other palettes away. So I'm actually just sitting here thinking, what am I going to do? So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use the blue and the green shades on, like, my lid. And then I think I'm going to save that red shimmer for my lower lash liner to see how like nuts that looks. So I'm sitting here looking at this. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the blue shades and start building those up on my crease slash transition area. And we'll see how that goes. Are you guys ready? Did I do to my set elf? So I'm going to take the one matte shade that we got. So Daba D. I'm going to start... Just lightly putting that. It is, oh, it's very purple leaning. What have I done to myself? I gotta film like another video after this too. Whew. So next, I think I'm going to take my green shimmer shade, which is the shade Big Banks, and I'm also going to use that to deepen out 
my crease. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. Just take the shimmer. Try to use this to see how this blends. <laughs> going to take a big just clean fluffy brush and just try blending this together okay so we're not looking terrible so far so we've got two shades down I think I'm going to take the blue shimmer that I got Billie Jean and I'm gonna try putting that on my lid with my finger and see how this looks <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use a fluffy brush with the same Billie Jean shade and try to blend this into the other shades just a little up here. Again, taking another clean fluffy brush. Blend. Please blend. Okay, so it's not looking terrible. Like if I were an early 2000s celebrity, this wouldn't look bad. <laughs> uh, so these actually kind of look pretty nice but now we've got the red shade and I think I'm just gonna do that on my lower lash line and just see what the hell happens I do want to add in one shade though because I do not have an inner corner highlight so I'm gonna bring in Lumi this just bright white and use that for my inner corner <laughs> just to give this a little bit of a hope of coming together for a look okay here we go we've got our red shimmer shaded <sighs> let's see let's see you never know let's, let's just go So, surprise, I just remembered what color theory is. <laughs> Duh, Monica. So I think I'm going to take the Billie Jean and mix it with this red shade under my eyes. And maybe we'll get just like a deep purple. And I think that's going to blend nicely. So let's take Billie Jean. Billie Jean is number one. Just a girl. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, this actually looks kind of cohesive, like, a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, mixing that was a really good idea, because that red, that stark red, was not looking cute. This actually looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to jump off and just do, I don't know if I want to do liner. I'm going to do liner just on my lash line, throw some mascara on, and I'll be right back. And we are back. I just threw some black liquid liner just on my lash line. I threw some mascara on my upper and lower lashes. And then I went in the waterline with a cream gel liner from ColourPop just in white. And I have to say, can I just say, I'm actually pretty impressed. <laughs> this didn't turn out like a hot garbage fire. <laughs> Once I actually got to the point where I remembered color theory exists and you could mix colors together, yeah, this turned out pretty nice. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm so happy with how this turned out, which is great because I've got to, I got to do work. I have to film another video after this, so <laughs> I'm happy. And I like that this forces me to be like more creative than like I'm personally inclined to be. So I definitely want to do this more often. Let me know down below if you guys want to see this more often with like these specific ColourPop palettes, or if you want to see this with some other palettes. I also want to get back into doing palette resurrections and spotlight on petite palettes because that series died a bit ago. <laughs> So this is the final look that I did with all of these shades right here, and I'm happy. I had a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.